away from you know, the one you guys had and, and just uh, how close you guys were? Well, it's a hard thing to win, that's for sure. Uh, just really, I'm really fortunate to be a part of it. I think that was uh, certain things happen that you don't have control over. And, and I got this opportunity uh, five years ago to be here. We've come a long way. It's, uh, it's pretty heartbreaking. It's, it was uh, obviously a lot of emotions, but uh, you know, we, we did everything we could. We gave everything we had, and that's something that's, uh, that's fulfilling in a way. You know, but in the same way, it makes it even, even tougher to swallow sometimes and to realize how hard it is, how far you came, and how hard you worked, what you sacrificed to get there. Fall short. You know, we're competitors. We want to win. That's so, end of the day. That is first and foremost. I don't care what anyone says. We want to win. That's it. Uh, it didn't happen. So it's it's uh, it's upsetting. But we can we can be proud of our uh, personally uh, desire to, to maintain to be here in, the, in what you call a special place. Yeah, that's that's another thing. You know, it's. Yeah, we had someone say uh, to Marty before the playoffs, everybody needs to drive the bus. Everybody needs to pull in their weight. And I think we had that. Um, and all that said, I think there's a lot of guys, so there's, there's a lot of uh, that business side of it that has to be figured out. Uh, hopefully, I, uh, hopefully I can stay, obviously. But I haven't put too too much thought into it, honestly, to this point. Uh, I think everybody knows how I feel about New York and the New York Rangers and what you know that means to me. It has meant to me, and you know, what Glenn's done for me, and shown me, and everyone. But, you know, I want to make uh, I want to make an impact going forward. I want to be you know you want to have more responsibility sometimes. Than, uh, again, it's that goes into that. I think everybody knows you know, where I want to be. It's, uh, it's going to all work out like that. We'll see. So what was it like to be a part of this team, though, know, when you looked at what you accomplished in the group? It was amazing. You know, I, was, I said it all, all along. I was blessed to be a part of it. It's something that I'm very, very thankful for. It's something that Knowing how easy it came to this training camp, clean slate, and your desire to want to take on a more yeah. role, you feel he's a coach that will listen to that and, and maybe help you enter into that position? Uh, well, he, you know, we, we spoke. And he's very honest. He, he, uh, he, he checks my role and, and he thinks it's very important, and I took a lot of pride in it. Every guy will you know, think you need to want to strive for more and expect more out of yourself and try to demand more. I think that's I think, getting better. I just, that's what I meant by that. But, uh, I know my role. I know what my role will be when I'm back here. So, uh, you know, something like you know, in the playoffs and on a team that is going to win. In, in, May and June, I think it's even more than all, but everybody wants to be part of the sports that will exist. But I talked with him, and yeah, I mean, I've come from so I know where I was. Probably over, obviously overshadowed by the loss, but speaking of goals, you get a little chance to enjoy that goal you had, man. Yeah, not really. I haven't uh, thought too much of it, but yeah, I mean, that was it's a good feeling when it happened. It was a lot of emotion. Brian, what stands out for me from your first season working under Coach Vino? Uh, well, I just, I mean, I had a different expectation coming in than 
for myself and what we were going to do. And, uh, as the year went on, it was just things kind of just changed, and we formed into this team that wasn't, you know, two lines, a shutdown line, and everything was different. And uh, you know, I was on the fourth line. I didn't really like it, but it was a. Uh, it wasn't the fourth line that I was used to, and um, we had three lines that could score any shift. It was different, you know. It was just different. And he, I think, took the pulse pretty good, and he he saw that. Obviously, what he did with us was was awesome. I think we, we look how far we came. Right. Him. When you're thinking about this decision this summer, how much of it is going to have to be? Is the is a coach or a general manager going to have to tell you? You're gonna get a you're gonna get a better shot to play on a more of a scoring line. Is that is that gonna be no, a big part I mean, of it? That, I think ultimately, if they tell you that or if they don't, I think it's it's how you're playing. It's what you're <coughs> you got to go into it expecting to contribute and whatever they want to put you at. I'm not trying to get more out of you no matter where I, what have, what happens. But I honestly haven't thought. Too much about it because I, I mean, I gotta go down to Disney World and get married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think that's where we can start with. <laughs> so if, the, if this was your role, that's you're happy to be back and doing exactly what you did this year. Obviously, hoping. Well, that that would be you know that would be my role. I mean, that's what we did. And I think we did a pretty good job of it. You want to do you know? You could squeeze a little bit. Uh, Squeeze a little more juice out of the fruit next year with the same role, the same you know, same expectations. One year, you know, doing it for a year and you know what you kind of expect. Yeah, maybe you're even better. You know, and, uh, yeah, I have no idea. It's kind of a lot to speculate on. So you were saying you liked what the fourth line evolved into? As the oh, yeah, we were, we were proud of what we did, you know, in the minutes that we had. It was a 60 minute game, and there was four lines that were going. So, look at where it took us. We bought in quick, and once we really bought in, I thought we took off. Can you put, do you, you were talking about goals before, do you know what gets into you in the postseason? What happens? I mean, obviously, you're a valued asset in a lot of different games. Well, I mean, game. I only have three. I've played a lot of games. I one was an empty netter, so it's not like I was going to win the most. <laughs> Um, you got chances if you look at if you look at chances down the last 20 games even in the season. It's just you get to play in the playoffs. Things get uh, things get magnified. You know, Dom was doing what he, what he was doing all year you know, after skipping a year. You know, like he couldn't. That was amazing, and he got better and better. It was just you know, we had those contributions. It was it was good. I thought for a while. If, if you're back, how important is it to you to also have Dom back? Yeah, I mean, again, if we're taking everything, putting it over here, and we're talking about playing another season with Dom, yeah, that would be that would be amazing. It's really something that you know, I was fortunate to do this year. I was lucky to get to know Dom, and uh, he's, a, he's a special guy. He really is. Big for our team. We want to keep as many guys as you can because they come close to them. Brian, how much delight do you take seeing out of younger players step up into larger roles, particularly Ryan McDonough becoming more of a vocal leader as his career has gone on? Yeah, well, I think he's just. I mean, Mac wants to win, and Mac wants to. He probably wants to be the best player on the ice every time he's on it. So it's, it's an attitude that he has that has made him who he is, and he's. It's, it's pretty fun to watch what he's done and what, he, what he's going to continue to do. He'll be, uh, be an exciting guy to watch, for sure. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Boyle. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Dan.